Here we're going to solve a TNB frame problem. So we're given the curve R of t is equal to 5 cosine of t, 1 plus 3 sine of t, and 4 sine of t. And we're asked to compute the vectors t, n, and b. So t is the unit tangent vector, which indicates the direction that the curve is going. So here I'll just draw a quick sketch. So if this is our point, and uh, the curve is r, and we're going this way, the unit tangent vector is the vector that is length of 1 in the straight direction that the curve is moving. The n vector is the direction in which the curve is turning, so it's cur turning to the right, and n is perpendicular to uh, t, so it points in this direction, since it's curving to the right, and b is the cross product of n and t, so we know that it is um, orthogonal to both, uh, since it is the cross product, so we have a right angle here and a right angle here. So on this slide, we'll, we will uh, first solve for uh, t. And the unit tangent vector t is equal to r prime of t divided by the uh, magnitude of r prime of t. So first we'll find r prime of t which is equal to 5 times the derivative of cosine, which is negative sine of t. The derivative of 1 plus 3 sine of t is simply 3 cosine of t. This uh, is removed because derivative of a constant is 0, and the derivative of sine is cosine. And then we have 4 cosine of t for the derivative of 4 sine of t. Now we find the magnitude of the derivative of r. So it's the square root of each of these three components squared. So negative 5 sine of t squared plus 3 cosine of t squared plus 4 cosine of t squared. This simplifies to 25 sine squared of t plus 9, cosine squared of t plus 16, cosine squared of t, the square root of this whole thing. So what we can do here is because we have the uh, like cosine squared in both the of these terms, we can simplify this to 25 sine squared of t plus 9 plus 16 times cosine squared of t. 9 plus 16 is 25. Now that we have 25 in front of both of the sine squared and cosine squared, this becomes 25 times sine squared plus cos okay, sine squared of t plus cosine squared of t. And from trigonometric identities, we know that sine squared of anything plus cosine squared of anything is 1. So this is the square root of 25, and it's simplified down all the way to 5. So the unit tangent vector t is equal to negative 5 sine of t, 3 cosine of t, 4 cosine of t, divided by 5. So we simplify it down to negative sine of t, three-fifths cosine of t, and four-fifths cosine of t. So that's our unit tangent vector. Now we will compute n, the unit normal, principal unit normal vector, or just unit normal vector. So n is equal to t prime divided by the magnitude of t prime. So from the previous slide, we know that t, uh, the unit tangent vector, is equal to negative sine of t, three-fifths cosine of t, and 
4 fifths cosine of t. We'll start by taking the derivative of the unit tangent vector. So we get negative cosine of t, negative 3 fifths sine of t, negative 4 fifths sine of t. And that's half, the top half, of the unit normal. So now we'll take the magnitude of t prime of t. So the square root of each of the components squared. So that's negative cosine of t squared plus negative three-fifths sine of t squared plus negative four-fifths sine of t squared. Here we can get rid of the negative sign on the first part. This becomes 9 25ths sine squared of t, and this becomes 16 25ths sine squared of t. Cosine squared of t plus 9 25ths plus 16 25ths is 25 over 25, simply 1. That gives us sine squared of t, and we know from the previous slide and our knowledge of trig identities, square root of 1, this becomes 1, so we have square root of 1, which is 1. Putting it all together, the unit normal vector is, since the magnitude is just 1, we're dividing the uh, derivative here by 1, so it's just uh, t prime. Negative cosine of t, negative 3 fifths sine of t, and negative 4 fifths sine of t give us the unit normal vector. Now we will compute the binormal vector, which is the binormal the unit tangent vector cross the unit normal vector. So perpendicular to both t and n. And it is also a unit vector. Like all unit vectors, it has a length or magnitude of 1. So b of t is equal to t cross n. So to find the cross product of these two vectors, we form a matrix of i, j, and k, which are representative of the simplified vectors 1, 0, 0 for i, 0, 1, 0 for j, and 0, 0, 1 for k. Then I'll put in the three components of t, so that's negative sine of t, three-fifths cosine of t, and four-fifths cosine of t. Then the three components of n, which are negative cosine of t, negative three-fifths sine of t, and negative four-fifths sine of t. To take the cross product, or to evaluate the matrix we formed, we have three, uh, three things in this format. So this is the format that we'll always have for a matrix of 3 by 3 of a vector nature like this. The first will be multiplied by i minus j plus k. So this minus sign is crucial and always goes with the j. So to find what uh, goes in the parentheses for the i, we cover up the i column. So like put your finger over this column here with i in it. Multiply going this way, then subtract the product of going the opposite diagonal way. So what we get is 3 fifths cosine of t times negative 4 fifths sine of t is equal to negative 12 25ths cosine t sine t. Subtract 
the product of these two, which gives us a negative 12 fifth, uh, 12 25ths cosine t sine t. Subtracting a negative gives us a positive 12 fifths cosine t sine t. We get rid of this because negative 12 25ths plus 12 25ths times the same cosine and sine uh, is zero. So then we cover up the j column and multiply negative sine of t by negative 4 fifths sine of t to get 4 fifths sine squared of t plus the product of negative cosine of t and 4 fifths cosine of t, which gives us, uh, well, I forgot to mention we're subtracting here, but since we have a negative and the uh, cosine, we get a final uh, result of positive 4 fifths cosine squared of t. We can simplify this like we did earlier. Uh, we'll do that in a minute. We'll finish the matrix evaluation first. To get the k component, cover up the k column, multiply this way, so we have 3 fifths sine squared of t minus we have negative cosine of t times 3 fifths cosine of t, so that's minus a negative, so plus 3 fifths cosine of t. Simplifies even further to negative j times 4 fifths, because we have sine squared plus cosine squared, which is 1, since we can pull out the uh, equivalent coefficient, so really this becomes 4 fifths times sine squared of t plus cosine squared of t. This becomes 1, so we're left with 4 fifths, hence the negative j times 4 fifths plus k. Applying the same principle, we get 3 fifths. Our i component is 0, so our binormal vector is 0, negative 4 fifths, and 3 fifths. Thus we have all three unit vectors of the TNB frame.